Hello everyone, Catherine here. Let's do this problem. Determine the remaining sides and angles of the triangle ABC. The first thing that I like to look for is how many angles do we have? And we're pretty lucky here because they give us two angles right away. And hopefully you remember that a triangle is 180 degrees. To figure out angle A, all I have to do is take 180 minus 59 minus 65. And what does that give us? Yeah, 56 degrees. So right away, I know angle A is 56 degrees. For this one, we could use the law of cosines, but I like to make my life easier. And guess what? We can use the law of sines for this. So let's write out the formula. I want to find side B first. We're going to have the sine of A over side A equals the sine of B. Now, the big B is the angle over side B. Now, let's fill in what we know. We have the sine of 56 degrees, okay, over side A, which is 6, equals the sine of angle B, which is 65 degrees, over side B. Now we don't know that one. What we're going to do? Cross multiply. Let me write it out for you first. So B times the sine of 56 degrees is going to equal 6 times the sine of 65 degrees. I'm not sure why my ends here are so crazy, but it's okay. We are going to divide by the sine of 56 degrees on both sides. Now I'm doing that because I want to get B by itself. Sine of 56 degrees. Now I'm going to put this whole thing on this side in the calculator. So let me show you how that works. All right, here's the calculator for the computer. I'm in scientific. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the numerator first. I'm going to do the numerator first. I'm going to take 6 times. Now what we have to do is put in the degrees first, 65, and then we go to trigonometry and we want the sine. Now that isn't it. We have to press equals first. All right, that's our numerator. We're going to divide by what's in the denominator. Now remember, I'm going to put in my degrees first. Then I'm going to pick sine, and I have to do equals, otherwise it's not going to work. And what do we get? And we have 6.559. So I'm going to write that down. 6.559. Now remember, they want us to round to the nearest hundredth. So that's going to be approximately 6.56. All right, great. Now, can you figure out how we're going to do C? Well, I want you to pause the video, find C, and then press play, and we're going to work it together. All right, I erased our work from before. We want to find side C. We're still going to use the law of sines for this one, but I'm going to give you a little bit of a tip here. I wouldn't use angle 65 and side B, which is 6.56 approximately, because we had to figure that one out. And what if we were wrong? We're not wrong, but let's pretend we might have a mistake. I would rather use something that was given to us, six meters for side A, and angle A is 56 degrees. We didn't have to do anything to figure that out. It's strictly 56 degrees. And that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna say the sine of A over A equals, now we're doing C, so I'm going to have the sine of C over C. Now let's fill in what we know. We know that A sine is 56 degrees over side A, which is 6. The sine of C, well C is 59 degrees okay, over side C. And guess what we're going to do? Yeah, we're going to cross multiply. Let me write it out for you. We're going to take C times 
the sine of 56 degrees equals 6 times the sine of 59 degrees. Now I want to get C by itself, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by the sine of 56 degrees. And I'm going to write that out here so everyone can see what I'm doing. All right, now to figure out C, I'm going to grab my calculator again. The first thing we're going to do is the numerator. I'm going to take 6 times, now I have to put the degrees in first, 59 degrees, and then pick sine, and we have to click equals. All right, super, super important. Divide by, then we have the sine of 56. I'm going to do 56, and then the sine, and I have to click equals. And we end up with 6.203. And that's what I'm going to write. 6.203, I believe is what it said. Now we have to round to the nearest hundredths. So that's two decimal places. So we're going to have 6.2 zero or just 6.2 and we did it yeah good job